Hey everyone, um, welcome back to Glen Forge. And today we are here at Bullpen Fabrication again. And uh, we are going to be working on a little project together. And it's going to involve these metal spoons, right? Yep, we're gonna make some roses. Awesome, uh, cool. So, so this, is, this is the cheap and easy way to make roses. Um, you just go to Walmart and you buy the cheapest spoons they have <laughs> and uh, try to turn them into something pretty. That's cool. Yeah, this is going to be very fun. We just sit there, learn it with you, and watch you. Usually, shear them all off and then do a light forming and then stick them to the stem. And then I'll finish the shape with an oxy settling torch. So, we're going to try and just forge them all this time because I've actually never done this ever since I had my forge set up. Alright, awesome. So fixing. This might be easier than the previous way to do this. I made my first spoon rose when I was 16, I think. I started oh, making wow. them for like girlfriends. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, uh, it's a great idea for Valentine's Day, by yeah, the way. Yeah, how many, up, how so. many girls when you're like 16 are getting uh, metal exactly. handmade rose? Exactly. They're so. expecting real roses, but they are not expecting yeah, something like that. Let me this. tell you, girls so eat that up. <laughs> there you go. It's for the blacksmith. Yeah. This is why. You, this is 90% of the reason you should get into blacksmithing. <laughs> the other thing is, she sure hates my dirty hands. And I, <laughs> yeah, you gotta make sure you watch. I'm bleeding 90% of the time for some reason. So how many do you need? Um. Yeah, to be honest, I don't know. You just gotta guess. And I try not to do the same for every single one, because uh, then they look identical. Um, try to make it look more human, more as unique as possible, kind of like a because roses, the petals are all not the same. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and so when when I was doing the, those batches, uh, right. that's part of the reason it probably took me so long is because I did, I said I want them all to look unique, um, which meant that they took longer, but. They turned out really good, so. All right, yeah, we'll roll those in the smidge pile there. We'll taper this down just a smidge. We'll give it a nice little curve. Um, and then put some petals on it. Nice. And then if you want to get real fancy, what I do sometimes on like singles, I won't do them on a whole dozen. Um, but if like you're doing a single rose, put it on a little stand, and then you take, I usually do a TIG welder and build up little thorns and then File them down, they look real. Oh, very cool, yeah. yeah. But yeah, so we'll get, I'm just gonna do that top roll on them to make get them like that little bit of rose curling out. And then we'll start with the inside ones. So I'll pick like a nice little tiny one. And basically for the center, I just pinch it like a taco and roll that top out. And then you just start kind of puzzle piecing them in. Okay. So. Just this initial roll on these. It's so much easier with all these fun tools now. 
This is this is so much more fun. Well, I'm glad you're having a good time. This is really cool. Watching. See, this is why we needed to we needed to give it a shot. Absolutely. So yeah, you said originally the way you made these with these seven cards, you just then just bent them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they would get. They would get a, like kind of, I'd fan them out in the, uh, the pattern, uh, like welded to the rod. Um, and then I would take just these and I just kind of curl them in. Um, so we might end up doing that towards the end a little bit. This is my favorite hammer. I use this thing for every piece I work with. Awesome. I, just, I don't know what it is. I think it was my grandfather's uh, that was left here. It is real janky, but it's just, it's such a nice little, it cleans up stuff so well. Excellent. Well, let's get to serve the grandfather. Oh, yeah. It seems to be working in, in fine condition after that long, long time. So. Yep, now it still gets to shapes. Start with this one. That's life before this was dark. <laughs> I had sweet water. My girlfriend took them because I told her I was gonna burn them, but I had these and I used a ball hitch and I got it red hot and sat down in it and just burnt craters at different depths. And that was my sweet claw. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's one way to do it. That's a good idea. I mean, that's, yeah. You can do a lot with a little. Exactly. <laughs> but that's one of the things that I definitely find myself like reminding myself of. Of like, you know, I don't need the four thousand no. dollar. No. I don't need the. You know, I don't need all these fancy things. No. And a lot of people think you do to do this, and that is definitely not. Nope. And then, let's see how we want to do this. Ooh. And then,
This is the part where it gets real scary. Because I don't want it to melt. That gets us for a start. Turn this back around. All right. So what I'll do is we'll get the bottom on this. I'm gonna curl this in a little bit, roll it, and then we'll cut that down. Get a small little start to that bud. Assembly line processing. Exactly, yeah, that's a good rhythm you got going.
starting to come together. If it, I think it needs like one more right here. I really like how that's turning out. It looks so perfect and all you had to do was just bend a couple spoons. Yeah. It's great. It gives you a really good, like it's pretty close to. Oh, absolutely. That's gonna look awesome.
and that opens whoop, opens it up just a little bit. And there you have it. You got a nice little rose. Now I gotta do mine. Like Adam did, I'm going to be uh, making, bending the very tip to make it like a leaf petal. And now I gotta straighten it out a little bit, actually. I don't want to be too bent like that, but if you want. Here, actually, I'll go ahead and shear these off. They're a little easier to control when it's just a spoon. Oh, right. So this one you're probably fine with. This one you'll want to open up just a little and then wrap it like, you'll want them to kind of nest inside each other. So you can see how like, oh yeah, did I want to use the pliers to pinch those out a bit? Like, yeah, you, you can do it before, you can do it after, you can kind of whatever. I'll do it doing. after actually, cause I know you did it before, so I'll try it after actually. Yeah, that's true, I'll do that, yeah. Yeah, and that'll give you that little roll. Yeah, I think that's true. So I got all these petals of mine ready to weld and soon I will be caught up to Adam. I guess to get these, yeah, bad boys on this rod and next is the torch. And yes, one step closer. I'm gonna get these blown off so that when I weld them, there is no water because electricity and water do not mix. Well, around people. So 
So much like how Adam uh, went about it, um, we're gonna do all the small petals first and keep building up the rose petals into the rose. And then we'll do the bigger ones uh, at the end. So I'm just gonna keep building up and then um, it'll be done. Go ahead and uh, put this in the fire, snake that back into place, get it nice and um, get it squeezed up against the other petals. And then I put on the big four and uh, yep, we'll be good to go. Nice little rose. Now we need to pull out the petals and it'll be perfect. All right, so we're finally done, and uh, yeah, that actually turned out pretty well. This is the first time that I've uh, done it like this with spoons. That was kind of cool, though. I feel like it turned out pretty well for our first try, and yours looks great. <laughs> so yeah, appreciate it. Definitely an effective and efficient, uh, I'd say, if you want to make a bunch of roses with just some spoons you literally can buy at Walmart and just get some fire and heat them up and stick them together. It's Perfect for a fun little craft. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> all right, awesome. Well, again, thank you very much, Adam. Yeah, it's been a blast. And, and please check out all his social medias again. Um, you know, we'll link them in the description of the video. And uh, thank you very much. And have a great day.